Well, that's stupid. <sighs> this calls for a vlog. But you haven't hit enough subscribers. It's not yet time to do another vlog. Drastic times call for drastic action. Now let's do this. This is outrageous. A useful tool has gotten the axe. I personally use annotations for all sorts of things, including commentary, changing video titles, and explaining why I changed the video title. Now, YouTube has published a blog so we can see their logic. The problem is that this is an avalanche of idiocy of the highest order. The only place for this logic is in the rubbish. But what exactly were the reasons for getting rid of annotations? Reason 1. Annotations are hard to use. No. Not true. Next. Reason 2. Annotations don't work on mobile, so most people can't see your annotations because they're watching on mobile. You dumb stooge! You find a problem with your feature, and instead of fixing it, you make an even bigger problem by getting rid of the feature. Imagine if that worked in real life. I'd like you to fix my air conditioning. During the winter it's fine, but during the summer it's like a sauna. I'd like you to fix it, as you're a mechanic and fixing cars is what you do. Yeah, I have a great solution! What the heck? You blew up my car! Well, now you have no more problems with your car whatsoever. I don't have a car anymore. That's a problem. Eh, whatever. Anyways, here's my bill. Pay me. The stupidity doesn't even end there. Remember the, so most people can't see your annotations because they're watching on mobile. Well, look at this chart. So most people can't see your annotations because they're watching on mobile. So most people can't see your annotations because they're watching on mobile. <laughs> Reason 3 End screens and cards generate more clicks while annotations are often closed. There's a reason for that. If this was an actual annotation, it would get almost no clicks. It's not meant to be clicked on. 
and if it was an actual annotation, you probably would have closed it by now because you read it and were done with it. Reason 4 Less people are using annotations, and a lot of people turn them off altogether. Just because some people don't use them doesn't mean you can take annotations away. Commander, I need more ammo for my sniper rifle. Well, I've done a comprehensive survey and I found out that most people in this base don't use sniper rifles. Therefore... Use something else. But I use a sniper rifle. I find them really handy. Well, statistically, you're in the minority, so no snipers. With that in mind, here's your new gun. Seriously? Yep, it's called progress. Get used to it. <sighs> Everybody, we are under attack. Prepare to engage the enemy. My God. I wish I still had my sniper rifle. Well, looks like we're gonna lose. We did our best. Why don't we use the artillery to blow up their base? Are you kidding? One hit in the wrong spot and... Yeah, but for some reason those rebel scum don't have any snipers. We should be safe. Hmm. Good point. Everybody build the artillery! And fast! Aha! Dwa! Do! Oh, come on! Well, beam me up.
Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Good shot. Thanks. All right, now. Fire! <laughs> The rebel base is no more. So, we've won. How could this have happened? Well, I've done a comprehensive survey and I found out the less people are using snipers. But I personally use a the sniper rifle. I find them really useful. Well, statistically, a lot of people don't use sniper rifles. Well, that's stupid. It's called progress. Screens and cards generate more clicks. Get used to it. That's pretty much all there is to say on the matter. Reason 5 You can always use end screens and cards. I'll admit that both end screens and cards are useful. Let's start with end screens. End screens allow you to link to another video and it automatically gives the thumbnail of that video. Essentially, if the end of your video is blank, then you can link to other videos and it looks pretty good. This wasn't something you could really do with annotations. But, end screens can't play video. You see, with annotations, you could have part of a video slap an annotation onto it and have a button playing that video. Pretty neat, huh? Though, all in all, end screens give you a new option to link to other videos at the end of a video. It's like if your local hamburger joint started to sell chicken. Either way, more choices is good. However, end screens can't replace annotations for three reasons. Reason 1 End screens can only display thumbnails. End screens can't be transparent, meaning you can't pull off the video button trick I talked about before. They also can't display text. All this leads to one conclusion. End screens can't replace annotations because they're different. Reason 2 End screens only work for the last 20 seconds of a video. I suppose the reason for this is because end screens could get really annoying if abused. The trade-off is that if I wanted to link to another video right now, something I could do with annotations, I can't. So, in conclusion, end screens can't replace annotations because they have less versatility than annotations. Reason 3 Getting rid of annotations because end screens exist is stupid. More choice is good. If your local hamburger joint stopped selling hamburgers because they were selling chicken, no one would think that was an improvement, 
Similarly, getting rid of annotations because end screens exist is not an improvement. And now, cards. Cards are pretty neat. They can be used to mildly suggest another video with minimal impact on the video being watched. They can also be used to create polls, which is great. However, cards are always in the top right of a video, meaning that if I wanted this to link to a collection of LEGO randomness, I can't, even though it would make a lot more sense for me to link to a collection of LEGO randomness here, than it does to have a card do it. And there's another thing. Tech. Annotations could display text at any time, while cards can also, kind of, display text. Another problem with cards is that they're not time specific. While the little messages that pop up vary, the inside doesn't. As you can see, my cards are pretty messy because of that. Though, all in all, cards are another neat tool that YouTube has given us. It's like if your local hamburger joint started to sell both chicken and pie, which is great. However, neither chicken nor pie are hamburgers. <sighs> What's next? Reason 6 Annotations can get very annoying. Okay, so this wasn't an official reason, but it probably impacted the decision. Occasionally, you run into annotations abuse, whether it's spamming annotations, or just filling up the entire screen with pointless, unrelated text. I won't deny it. This is annoying. But that is a byproduct of annotations' extreme versatility. I kind of went over this earlier. If end screens were more versatile, and could be used at any time, they, too, could be abused. Plus, getting rid of annotations because some people don't use them right is pretty stupid.
Well, I think we've seen that some people don't use cameras properly. I mean, look at that! So yeah, I think you'll all be grateful if we just got rid of them. What? Uh, what? Somebody stop him! Ugh. All right. Man, people don't seem to like this. Eh, let's break more stuff. Oh! Blah, blah. So we've managed to protect the public from poor quality photographs. Good work, everybody. Anyways, looks like our job improving citizens' lives is done. Now, if you need me, I'll be watching some YouTube. Hmm. Ah, oh, geez. Don't people know how to use annotations properly? Annotations! 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 Stop. What are you doing? We're here to get rid of annotations. Yeah! Annotation. Annotation! Kill them! Oh, really? You see, some people use annotations improperly and it's annoying for everyone involved. So let's get rid of them. Yeah. Destroy. Annotation. Annotation. Burn the witch. Okay. Seems logical. They also don't work on mobile, and I can't be bothered to fix them. So let's get this started. Sorry for the interruption, but I've realized you're taking away a useful feature using logic that is shoddy at best. I know annotations aren't perfect, but you could just keep them. 
After all, very few people abuse annotations nowadays, and it won't take any extra effort to keep them. Annotations! 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 Burn the annotations! Demolish! I want to see blood! Burn them! So, in conclusion... This was an extremely stupid decision. I'm ticked off. Not only that, but everybody else is ticked off too. This stupid action made what was once possible impossible. So, all in all, this was an unnecessary, improper, cruel, unusual, and avoidable catastrophe, and it still went through. So, what now? Well, YouTube wants its website to be less bad. Hold up, I need to check my script. Hmm. So, YouTube wants its website to be less bad, and because of that they have a send feedback button. Now, there was a decision that YouTube made that made their website more bad. Reversing that decision will again make YouTube less bad. That decision was getting rid of annotations. So let us all rise and tell YouTube that we, the users, matter and we won't take poor excuses and petty lies. Let us all voice our complaints. And perhaps one day, we will be heard and this tragedy will become only a distant memory. So everybody, scroll down and hit that send feedback button with all you got! Wait, that only works for classic YouTube? Oh come on! I even made a fancy recording! <sighs> well, if you're not on classic YouTube, then go. Go up there. The three circles. Hit it, and then hit send feedback. Anyways, now that you're there, tell YouTube to reinstate annotations post haste. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Perhaps there's something more appropriate to stick up there. I mean, you should totally subscribe, but I'm not sure that's the most relevant possible message at the moment. Much better.